Hi, I'm Johnny. I'm a global artist ambassador for Phoenix 360, and I'm blessed to be joined today by the model Victory Saver. Hi, Victory. How are you? Salutation. Hola. Good evening. <laughs> glad right. to be here. Yeah. Excited. Yeah, Thanks I'm, for having me. I'm glad to have you too, Victory. Appreciate you. And listen, I'm interested in sharing some of your modeling work if we can. So why don't we tune in now to some of the work that you've done um, and share with our audience? Is that okay? Sure, absolutely. All right, terrific. Then let's look at some of the beautiful images of Victory Saber. Victory, great to see you at work and your modeling. And I know that you wear a number of different hats, but I'm really interested in learning about them and learning how, you know, where you're from and how you became a model. So I am from the Midwest and um, just been like corporate all my life and just looking for an outlet. Um, I, I'm a mom. A lot of people don't look at me and, and know that, but yes, I'm a mom. And um, having teenagers and them not wanting to, they're, they have their own lives. <laughs> and so I'm like, okay, I, I need to do something with my life, something outside of them because they, they've got their own thing going. So I started looking for things for a creative outlet. Uh -huh. And uh, some agencies reached out to me and I'm actually signed with um, a bunch of agencies. And so they send me to do things. Well, Victory, that is beautiful. And listen, I got to tell you what, that's also a dedication. It's very hard work. In addition to being a mother and having teens and, and having that focus for so long to ensure that they've been raised properly and are healthy and happy and doing their things. So that's beautiful. And I appreciate all that uh, effort and energy. And now you have this creative pursuit to be able to expand upon. I really appreciate it. Now, were there other models that you may have kind of looked at and, and, and were inspired by that helped you kind of get into your own uh, form of modeling? Um, you know, uh, what, what, what's so funny about modeling is that it's not just modeling. I've been getting a lot of calls from, you know, in my imagination, I thought this was going to be uh, me showing up and being pampered and taking pictures. It's so much more than that. Um, you know, I'm, I'm being called to be extras. I'm being called, it's more of acting. And I'm like, I don't know anything about acting. And so um, I'm, I'm looking to take on some acting classes because everything I've been getting called for is like on scene. And uh, so some people that I do admire that is on scene, I would say, um, I l absolutely love, um, it's, it's so many varieties. Don't make me pick one. No, you don't uh, have to but I love, I love Jennifer Aniston. I love, um, uh, Trashy Pinson, Henson, I think that's her last name. I don't know. Uh, well, that's great. And I love some of those inspirations. You know what I mean? And obviously you have, you have this mm -hmm. great presence. I'm so glad that you are pursuing acting and maybe going to do some studying about acting to expand on that kind of passionate interest you have. And obviously, you know, people Absolutely. are responding to you. They, they want you to be involved and to participate, you know, which so is so funny because like in my mind, you know, I'm, I'm, a mom, my kids are all grown and I have people calling me like, Hey, come be, you know, I need you to play a college student or, and I'm like, okay. Right. So it's like reliving my early twenties all over again. So I guess it's the way that the world views me and I just have to, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going with the flow. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's great. Well, it's good to be an old soul. And then also to be involved Absolutely. in these youthful experiences, you know, and to portray even you know, a youth, um, but even have the benefit of all your experience and knowledge and, and having been on this planet for a while longer. And that's really powerful. So at any rate, I really appreciate that you're doing these things. And you have also something coming up that on your social media, that's going to be, um, you're going to be dropping pretty soon, right? You're gonna, can, working on a channel? I am. So I'm working on my YouTube channel, Life Out Loud, as well as I published a book back in 2015. So I'm going to re-release that. I, I used a pen name, but um, I'm going to go ahead and, and talk about, you know, the way that I was raised and some things that I've survived and uh, use my voice to inspire other people that have maybe uh, going through something similar. I was in and out of uh, foster homes, in and out of homeless teen shelters. So all I ever wanted growing up as a kid was 
to own a home. And so as soon as I could, I bought a home. And now that's what I do in my everyday life, walk of life is I sell homes. So I'm, I'm very passionate about what I do. I'm very successful. Um, and I, I'm doing it with a completely different purpose uh, because it's just, it's what I, it's my passion. I think that it is- doesn't feel like work, but yeah. I still need an outlet. You know, I want a creative outlet. Well, there's a lot to unpack with that. You're a real estate agent and then you're also an yeah. author. Okay. Uh, you know, you're an inspiring <laughs> actor and you are currently a model as well. And also you're a mom of teenagers and, and you came from what was, sounds to me like a very challenging upbringing. Um, and so yeah. because of that, <laughs> you know what I mean? How this wonderful, like, you know, expression is poured out of it. So um, almost there's a blessing behind all that adversity. Uh, and you certainly are shining in the world. I really love it, Victory. It's cool. So we're going to look forward to following your progress because you're going to be letting us know about the book that you're going to be publishing, about Life Out Loud channel, you know, and other projects that I'm sure are going to be coming. So I want everyone to tune in to your social media links that we'll put behind, beneath this interview today. And we'll look forward to you coming up on Phoenix 360. And awesome. You I'm so excited. Me your, too. your channel is absolutely amazing. Thanks for, I'm like so excited. <laughs> no, I'm excited. Thanks for having no, me. No, I'm really happy that you're going to be on it too. And, <laughs> and you understand that we talked a little bit about the NFTs and other things that you can develop in the Phoenix. Yes. And as, and as we aggregate a bigger, larger audience, the more viable it becomes and, and it celebrates mm -hmm. the voices of all you artists. And um, we're just so pleased that you're part of it. Thanks, Victory. So really, Thanks everyone, to, to, to Victory's <laughs> social media channels below, and we'll see you on Phoenix 360. Thank you, my dear. You take good care. Much love, peace, love, and light. One Thank love. you for having me. Thank you, Victory. Thank you. As a Florida lottery retailer, you'll be responsible for redeeming all winning lottery tickets valued at less than 600. Remember, you'll also be receiving a commission on all these tickets. Any winning tickets valued at 600 or over will be paid out directly by the lottery. You'll also be assigned a dedicated local Florida sales rep like me. Your rep will visit your location every two to three weeks to ensure you have everything you need to be successful. Chain locations may also have a corporate account manager to assist with special needs. Considering adding the Florida lottery to your business, Becoming a Florida Lottery retailer comes with countless benefits for your bottom line.